So, this is the Nortel IP Phone 2007. Kind of looks like a uh, phone had a baby with one of these guys. Pocket PC. Although it does not run Windows Mobile or Palm OS, it just runs VX Works. And otherwise, it has very similar design language to the M3 uh, 3900 series and the other 2000 series IP phones. Standard uh, Nortel T series handset, of course. And a few hardware buttons. You got some soft keys here D pad, headset, speakerphone, volume, mute, standard dial pad, hold, goodbye keys. It looks pretty nice. You even have a little stylus holder right here. You can even actually adjust the angle of the holder, which I thought was cool. And on the side here, again, pretty nice aesthetics. And the uh, base is actually adjustable angle wise. Let's see, let's take a look at the back here. That's the speaker for the speakerphone. Let's see, you also have two Ethernet jacks one for a PC, one for the network connection down there. Can't really see it well. There's also a 48 volt DC barrel jack, May in 2005. So let's go ahead and get this sucker plugged into a PoE switch, like such. Let's see if we can get it to come up. And unfortunately, since this one has been updated to the latest firmware for reasons mostly relating to some interesting features I'm going to show, this will unfortunately show the mark of the beast during startup, unfortunately. Nice large 5.7 inch screen. even got boot up music. No, not the Avaya name, no. Those are the bastards who killed Nortel, no. Well, okay, they only inherited the PBX stuff and Nortel imploded after a string of accounting scandals, and depending on who you ask, possibly espionage by Huawei. All right, so it's asking us for the terminal number. So this one is now booted up. So it does indeed make phone calls. Oh, I helped get the number right. And also, or Ulu than any other competitor. Please listen carefully as our menu options have changed. Transferring to an attendant. One moment, please. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Все наши операторы заняты. Пожалуйста, оставайтесь на линии, и ваш звонок будет обслужен первым доступным оператором. So, of course, we can dial our Meridian mail and our ACD keys and all that fun stuff. And again, these buttons on screen can be customized. we can also pull up our voicemail. Meridian Mail. You have no new voice messages. Message 1. From mailbox 2200. Received Sunday. Goodbye. Now here's the interesting part. This phone supported a unique feature called XGAS, which allowed applications to be streamed from a server. 
Unfortunately, the original Nortel slash Citrix server is lost, so we just have the Russian knockoff. And as you can see, we can actually We can even read the news headlines on this phone. How about that? This is actually being streamed from my PC using a variation of VNC. There's some other interesting stuff in here. Like VLANs and all that. Yeah, that's not the screen I asked for. There we go. In fact, we can ping. Get some network statistics. IP stuff. Ah, uh, yes, color start set is that password. And you can also turn on SSH, but I never got it to connect for some reason. Still haven't figured that out. Of course, I've set up my DHCP server to point the phone at my uh, CS1000 down here. Let's see what else have we got in this phone? does support USB, believe it or not. I think, actually, I should have pointed this out earlier, but I believe it's underneath this plug here. See, there's a USB port right there, meant for headsets. And yes, there's another i2007. I've got two of them. You can also actually label the buttons however you would like on screen, so we can go with the icon style. Like that. And of course it does support multiple languages. So you know, we can put it in all the katakana, except apparently that didn't work. Interesting. So it didn't save it. Oh, there we go. Eh, yeah, reverted back. It's interesting. I wonder why it does that. I'm sure what's in there, but of course we have. Ah, but the slideshow app has not started yet, so look at that on the server. Take a look at these very hilariously stereotypical choices of sample images. Ah. Because, of course, a Russian app server would come with this. So, that's a little bit on the uh, i2007. Hope you enjoyed.